East Bay water customers have been asked to voluntarily reduce water usage by 10% from last year. And many are on board with the reduction, but some are finding themselves getting called out on social media for not conserving. KPI X5's Julia Goodrich shows us live from Pleasant, and she can explain what's going on here, Juliet. Well, you know, on social media, sometimes the grass looks greener when it comes to other people's daily lives and what their life may entail. But when it comes to drought and water conservation, you don't want to have that greener look. No, this isn't Arizona. I just created this over time. This is Pleasanton and Joseph Mendonza's front yard. He's also a general contractor and very aware of our new crisis, water or lack thereof. The water shortage is really a crisis, and uh, I think the sooner we address it, I think the better off people are going to be. The Dry Valley's latest 10% water reduction request begs the question, is brown the new green? Not yet, says realtor Alexis Venema. You know, it's very difficult because people do prefer the clean cut green grass, but during the droughts, you have to do what's best for the environment. The Realty team recalls the drought of 2015 and how getting creative meant turning a brown lawn green using ecologically friendly paint. We had them paint the grass and have it be real, you know, realistic. We had many, many people comment on how fantastic it looked. It was, wasn't crunchy to walk on. But don't forget, back in 2015, many started turning on one another in the form of drought shaming, publicly outing water wasters on social media. And already, we're starting to see posts on next door outing water wasters. Facebook groups are forming like water wasters' wall of shame. Everybody's on watch for it. What any you know, washing your car, water running down. You think there's a Karen during COVID. There's a lot of Karens and Larrys or whoever <laughs> uh, at that time, too. Liz Venema adds many residents and businesses have learned to respond and adapt and conserve over the years. I think a common person, you know, like in this neighborhood, middle class people like me, I think that we need to really come together and uh, address the drought. Around the pool, we can and take note, some HOAs have actually sent emails to residents informing them to keep their lawns green. But who has the final say? The county does. Just like during the pandemic, if Alameda County says to conserve, that's the final say, not the HOA. And for the record, yes, this grass is green, and they are using recycled water here in the city of Pleasanton. That's the latest here. I'm Juliet Goodrich, KPIX5.